vlog and welcome to Universal Studios in Osaka, Japan. But today we're at Hogsmeade, basically Hogwarts. We will be doing a lot of stuff here, but my main focus is Hogwarts and all things Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter and I've never ever been to Universal Studios before. So this is going to be a whole new brand experience for me. So I will take you guys along for the ride. Let's go. So we are going into the Hogwarts ride now. We are right under, like right next to the castle and it's so cool. I, <laughs> oh my childhood, my life is complete. I, I'm, I'm breathless, I can't speak. It looks so cool. Can I just reveal my house now? I am a proud Gryffindor. We just got off the ride in Hogwarts and it was so much fun. My throat is kind of sore from screaming because there was a little, there was a couple of jump scares and where I was sitting, the interactive parts like came right at me. But it was so cool and going inside the castle and seeing like the portraits moving and seeing the characters in like Hogwarts office, I mean not Hogwarts, Dumbledore's office, that was so much fun. I definitely recommend going on this ride. Even if you have motion sickness, it wasn't that bad but they don't recommend it, but I still think you should do it. Oh yeah, and also they have a castle walkthrough if you don't want to do the ride, but I recommend doing the ride because it's really interactive and it's really fun. I got my first butterbeer here, butter beer here and now I'm going to try it. It's so sweet. It's really good though. It's carbonated and it's non-alcoholic and it has like a frothy foam. It's delicious. Thumbs up. So we just saw the Chai Wizard Spirit Rally and it was nice. Good morning everyone. Hope you're all having a marvelous time in Hogsmeade. Thank you for joining us. And hello again. Lovely to see you. Let's see. Oh, a Gryffindor. That's a great marvelous. I wouldn't say it was as ex extravagant as I thought it was going to be, considering of magic and all that. But the dancing was good and they had a little bit of stage combat with the staffs and stuff. So I think it's interesting to go see if you want to see more in the wizarding world. Before I came here, I did a lot of research on YouTube videos, like watching them and seeing what other people did. And I don't know why, but I got in my head that this was a lot bigger than it actually is. So like we've only been here for like maybe an hour and a half and we've already finished everything in the Harry Potter world, which is kind of sad and a little bit disappointing because I thought the experience would be bigger. But I think I still had a lot of fun. So 
I've left Harry Potter World and I'm now at the Jaws attraction. Since I'm riding it by myself, it's only a 30 minute wait, but if I were to have ridden it with somebody else, it's a 60 minute wait, so that's lucky. That was a lot of fun. I would relate it to Jungle Cruise at Disneyland where it's so, a lot of it is based off of your tour guide. And luckily I got a really enthusiastic and animated tour guide and she was so good. And I got splashed a bit, but the animatronics of the shark was actually really well, well done. I liked it. I recommend it. And since it's exclusive to Japan, I would say for sure check it out. If you can do single rider, because the single rider said it was only 30 minutes, but it literally took me like 10 minutes to get onto the ride. So yeah. We just ate lunch at Amityville Restaurant right outside of the Jaws ride. And it was actually pretty good. I just got chicken nuggets though because I'm tired of trying stuff and I just wanted something basic. But it was still good. And I tried this really cute dessert. It's a soda flavored cake and it had like a little shark gummy on top of it. I saw it in other videos when I was doing research so I was really interested in trying it. And it was actually pretty good. A little bit sweet for my taste though. I bring it like a six or a seven out of ten but not as good as Disneyland. We are currently in Waterworld waiting for the 1245 show. I have no idea what the show is about or what it's doing but since the show is happening literally in like 10 minutes we decided we might as well come. Waterworld and it was so cool. It's like a live action movie kind of, like an actual live action. And one of the leads was a woman and she did such a good job. She was so muscular. And she, at times she did play a damsel at distress, but she definitely held her own. She beat up so many bad guys. And like the stage combat was actually really well done considering the um, stage was kind of like a three-fourths around it's so like there was only one side that how do I describe this it was like a wraparound audience kind of so like it was hard to stage the stage combat it, so people couldn't tell that it was fake fighting but I think they did pretty well considering the uh, challenges they had to face and you definitely get wet if you're sitting in the splash zone like they deliberately come up to you with buckets to splash you so it was a lot of fun I definitely recommend it we had no idea what it was going into it but I'm definitely glad that we did that we are now in Jurassic Park and I think there's a ride here I'm gonna do I'm not sure I'll let you guys know So Jurassic Park the ride is closed, but the pterodactyl flying one is open, so I guess that's the one I'm going on. So scrap that last idea. It's the wait is a hundred minutes for a single rider, which is a lot more than I'm willing to wait right now. Maybe if I come back later. I may go and get an express pass or I may I don't know how the Express Pass works here at Universal, but I will figure it out and let you guys know what I decide to do. But 100 minutes is longer than an hour and a half, because 90 minutes is an hour and a half, and 100 minutes is an hour and 40. So, math. <laughs> but now we are in um, 
New York, I think? No, nope, San Francisco. San Francisco. Fisherman's Wharf. So now we're in San Francisco, and I will be exploring and showing you guys around. I've ever done it's like I'm not I done the most amazing thing I've ever seen I can't even speak I'm so excited it was like a mix between dancing and fighting and like that is me I love martial arts and dancing that is like me 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 I love it so much I can't breathe it's just like going on in my head and they were so intense and so I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it Minions aren't that popular in America like we like to ridicule them but it is so adorable and I just have to say I don't hate minions I actually really like them I'm sorry but I like them <laughs> so we're moving through the um, areas rather quickly because they're very crowded and there aren't actually as many rides as I thought there would be. It's more like being part of the experience. And the rides that are here have really long waits and I don't really kind of, I don't really want to wait that long. And I kind of just like walking through it. It's very relaxing being in a different world for a while. So now we are in New York and New York is one of my favorite cities. And we're on Fifth and Canal. So it's very, very, uh, it's not accurate, but it's nice. It's like old style accurate. So I'm looking forward to exploring old New York. So I'm now doing the single rider in Amazing Spider-Man. And I'm excited. I love Spider-Man, especially the Tom Holland Spider-Man. You're doing amazing, Tom. I had a lot of fun on the Spider-Man ride. It's kind of like a 3D adventure. So if you know um, Star Tours at Disney Land, it's kind of like that, but Spider-Man version and it has all the villains that Spider-Man encounters like his famous villains like Dr. Dr. Octopus Is it Doc Ock or Dr. Octopus? Doc Ock and a water guy and Green Goblin So that was fun and there are also two Stanley cameos so keep an eye out for those and um, This ride is kind of jerky so be careful of that but I liked it a lot Now I'm gonna go into the um, shop for Spider-Man because I love Spider-Man 
in the theater for rock and roll something or other. I think it's Beetlejuice. I'm not really sure. It's kind of like what we did for um, Waterworld where we didn't know what it was, but it turned out to be pretty good. So I'm hoping it's like that. The theater is pretty crowded right now because it's 3.15 and it, the show starts at 3.30. Well, not every show can be a winner and this one is uh, in second place. If you had a choice to see this or either the drum show again, I would recommend seeing the drum show again because it is spectacular. I'm now in line for the Hollywood ride. It's the front facing one, not the back one. I don't think I can do the back one. And since I'm in the single rider line, it's moving pretty fast. It did say 90 minutes for the wait, but I don't know how long it'll take. I'm going to be going now. So I just got off the ride and luckily it was the front facing one. I didn't know when I got on if it was the front facing one or the back one because I saw some people that I knew and they asked me if I was on the back one and I was like, what? I don't think so. But luckily I was correct. And the ride was super duper fun. You can tell by my hair. I was a little bit worried about my earrings though once we started going because like I could feel the wind pulling on them. But it, it was a lot of fun and really worth it. I think it was a little bit shorter than 90 minutes. I'm not sure, but it didn't feel that long. And um, as soon as our ride was done, we were still sitting and we were waiting to go into the bay pool or whatever it's called, the waiting area where you load up. The ride shut down for a safety check. I don't know what happened. I don't know if something happened while we were on it. I hope not, because that's kind of scary. But now the ride is shut down, so I got on just in time. But it was a lot of fun, I recommend it. And if the wait is long, I still think you should do it because the ride is like, I think one of the best in the park so far. The one thing I've noticed while I've been looking into the stores is that products are a lot more expensive here when you compare it to Disneyland Tokyo and Disneyland Sea. Like, for example, a headband here with, is 2,000 yen and a headband in Disney Sea and Disneyland Tokyo is only 1,500 yen, which is about $15 USD. So it's about a $5 price difference and that's kind of significant if you think about it, considering they're basically the same product. Maybe it's a licensing thing, I don't know. And also food is more expensive here as well. So that's just something to consider if you're choosing between the two parks. So we are heading to the Harry Potter world for one last butter beer and one last picture in front of the castle. I have my Polaroid with me and I took a Polaroid of the castle earlier but I want to take one with me in it because uh, I just like Polaroids. So after we get my butter beer, we're going to do a little last minute souvenir shopping and then we'll be heading down the main strip of Universal Studios, which is called Hollywood, to do our souvenir shopping and then we'll be done for the day. So we're finishing up our shopping now and I find myself saying it's cute and then I'll look at the price and then I'll immediately say not that cute though. So it's a lot of back and forth trying to decide if I want to spend that much money for something when it's a lot of what? Goodbye Universal Studio! I had a lot of fun! I'm back home filming this and this will be very short because as I stated previously in the video, things at Universal were really expensive and as a result of that I didn't get a lot of stuff because I found a lot of things cute but not cute enough to spend that much money on if that makes sense. So I actually only got three things. So the first thing I got is from Harry Potter World. It is this little uh, keychain. It's a Hufflepuff keychain. I'm not a Hufflepuff. I'm a Gryffindor, but this is a gift for my best friend who is a Hufflepuff. And it's a Hufflepuff Quidditch keychain. And for this little thing, it was 800 yen, which is $8. Okay. <laughs> okay, Harry Potter World. And then another thing I got from Harry Potter World, this is for me is peppermint toads 
They are basically the same as the um, toads with the cards on them, but they're little and they have a peppermint flavor on them. The ones with the cards in them were like the size of your palm, so that's really big for chocolates. And I like littler chocolates, and I also like the mint. I also like the mint flavoring, so this works out for me. Um, yeah, this was uh, 700 yen, so seven dollars. And then the last thing I got is a. She just loves making noise. The last thing I got is a little Spider-Man tin, and it's from like this. And it says, here's your favorite wall crawler. And it says Universal Studios Japan on it. So that's a little nice memento. And it comes with little crackers and stuff. But I didn't really get it for the snack. I thought it would be cute once I eat all the crackers. I would take them out to like make a little makeup palette out of it. I don't know. I just thought it was a very adorable idea in my head. So I'm going to be doing that. I don't know. I don't know where I'll be getting the little uh, makeup eyeshadows from but I will figure it out and maybe I'll let you guys know over on my Twitter which will be linked down below. So yeah that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you plan your trip to Universal Studios in Osaka, Japan and maybe helps you think about budgeting if you're wanting to buy souvenirs or gifts there or mementos. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week or the week after that. Bye!